While I'm out running errands today, I thought it would be fun to stop by a couple different shops. I thought I would check out a couple big box shops because I just saw a huge bunch of plants come in for springtime. So I'm excited to have a quick peek, see what I can find. And I'm also going to stop by some thrift stores. I usually go by Goodwill to see what kind of planty stuff I can find. Usually it's like planters and baskets. I mean, it's amazing the stuff I can find. Now I try to find the crazy stuff that I can't find in the shops. So we'll see how that goes. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Ashley and I'm a crazy plant person and proud as I always say. So if that brings a smile to your face, make sure to subscribe. And uh, we also have a wonderful plant community on Instagram that we'd love for you to be part of. I have a lot of people comment to me, hey Ashley, how do you know the names of all of the plants? And it's been, you know, learning over time. But one of the things that has helped me is an app called Nature ID, and they are actually partnering with me on this plant shopping video. And I know a lot of you probably already use this app, but it is amazing. You, it's very easy. You just download it on your phone, you pull the app up, and you point it at whatever plant that you're trying to figure out what type of plant it is, and it will tell you exactly what the plant is. And I have to say, it's been really helpful. It just makes it that much easier to figure out what kind of plants I'm looking at sometimes. The app has an entire section dedicated to your own personal plant care. So it will tell you how much water your plants like, humidity, sunlight, that kind of thing. You can set up a schedule for your watering and feeding and misting. I also like when you're doing your plant identification, it will tell you a lot about the plant, but it'll also tell you if the plant is toxic to pets or not. Um, it also has useful articles from experienced gardeners. The app is available for iOS and Android. So go to the App Store or Google Play, look up Nature ID, and here's how the icon looks. Download it, the app is free, or you can check the link in my description below. All right, I'm so ready to do some shopping today. Let's go. I literally just walked in and they have so many beautiful plants. First off the bat, I'm at the Ballantine Home Depot. I'll put the address in my description below. They have beautiful alocasia black velvets. Isn't this awesome? I am really excited to finally see these on the market here in Charlotte. This is the first time I'm seeing them. This is a wonderful plant. Uh, it's the first time I've seen it at a big box shop, although I know other people have been managing to find them. Um, great alocasia, has, you know, true to its name, it definitely has velvety dark leaves, has beautiful undersides to the leaves. This has been a favorite um, in the plant community for a while. I'm trying to see how much they are. They come with these really pretty ceramic planters, which are nice. $19.98. So that is really exciting. This one even has a little bloom going on back here. <laughs> it's really exciting to see some of these plants coming on the market that I saw at the Tropical Plant International Expo in Tampa seagrass a seagrass basket that's really nice twenty dollars a oh, lemon lime philodendron beautiful color to those leaves oh my goodness wonderful little peperomias here they're so cute look at them all flowering um, they have these very vibrant green leaves and then red on the undersides of the leaves Cute little rubber trees down here. Look, we even have some crocodile fern over here. There are a lot of great tropical houseplants in this section. Take a look. Some Diffenbachia over here and some Dracaena snake plants. Really nice. I'll just name off the prices as I see them. Some huge bird of paradise over here. Look how beautiful they are. 
Down here are some raven ZZs, a lot of them, and they're in, gosh, uh, 10 inch, maybe planters, at least 10 inch, and they are 34. It's nice large size ones. Some fiddles, some more gardens. Look at this majestic staghorn fern up here. These look like they're all about 17. Nice ferns and Pilea peperomioides here. Such a great plant, also known as a pancake plant, UFO plant. You can see that it has little pups. It's, it's a, known as a type of friendship plant because it's so easy to propagate and you can give the propagations to your friends. So uh, then we have Tradescantia, again, 17. Some spider plants, absolutely beautiful and uh, a heteraceum philodendron, um, just the beautiful green kind. And down here there are a lot of Monstera deliciosa. They are on sale, 10 inch planters, 22.88. Really, really nice. Up here we have peperomias. I've been having more success with peperomias. I believe I was overwatering them thinking that they liked to be, you know, have some moisture in the soil at all times. And actually the opposite seems to be true. They like to dry out, which suits me just fine. Look at all these beautiful golden pothos. Wow, there's a really pretty skindapsis up here. I'll pull it down. Here's another one, I don't have to pull it down. Looks like it might be a silvery Anne. There's a nice Adansonii over here. Absolutely lovely, 1298. One of the first plants I was interested in when I first started collecting, also known as the Swiss cheese vine because of the fenestrations in the leaves. There are some Syngonium here. Absolutely beautiful. These have the darker leaves, maybe a berry illusion, but there have been so many. Oh, not to interrupt myself, but look at this one. I haven't seen this type before. What are you? Maybe a hom homulonema? It's actually an alocasia cuculata. Alocasia cuculata. Wow. Hey, it's a new variety. I haven't seen it at a big box shop before. But this one is $29. It comes in this nice woven basket. Burgundy rubber tree, some really large Monstera Deliciosas. I've been seeing massive ones in the big box shops lately. These are $69. Big bird of paradise back there. Some cute Monstera Deliciosas over here, $16.98. Rattlesnake Calathea, 16 as well. Snake plants and some Anthurium. I'm gonna take a look over here. I see a lot of trending tropicals. Raven ZZs, ooh, they have some Baltic Blue. Such a great easy care plant. Um, similar to a Cebu Blue, a little bit different color. Fenestrates much earlier. As you can see here, this one already has fenestrations going. I did purchase one and it's, mine's doing great. All the trending tropicals are uh, very hardy plants, which is awesome. Some Golden Pothos down there, another Baltic Blue. Trubii, Skindaps, Skindapsis trubii, uh, Moonlight. Such a really beautiful plant, also incredibly easy care. Uh, most of these I already have in my collection, so. Um, speaking from experience, we have a hurricane, hur it looks like a hurricane bird's nest fern, and a Calathea rosy. Some peperomias, fiddly fig, ivy, syngonium. Here we have purple passion. This is such a cool plant that I don't hear spoken about much. I showed mine in my house plant tour. I have it in my bathroom and it does enjoy light. It does not like to be dried out for a long period of time, but given uh, the right conditions, it 
is a fast grower and I love how fuzzy they are and the purple leaves. Just a very unique, unique plant. So it's nice to see them. We have fluffy, fluffy ruffle fern. So beautiful. Looks like we have some sales here. These beautiful Rex begonias are $9.88. Oh, those leaves. I can never get over them. So incredibly vibrant. So many gorgeous varieties. They stand alone, in my opinion, with their foliage. Just incredible. Over here we have some Birkins. Nice color on them. Some aloe, such a great plant. I love mine. Easy care, fast grower. I've been spotting some really fun cacti and succulents at our big box shops here in Charlotte lately. Here we have a variegated Apuntia, very expensive in specialty nurseries. Um, so it's nice to find them for you know seven dollars at a big box shop. They have. Um, a few different cacti in each planter if you wanted to separate them. Have some fun little hairy guys over here. All different kind of varieties of old man cactus. Also, I'm noticing they have some of these variegated corn cob cacti, which is a lot of fun. Always nice to kind of look through, see what we can find. Again, always recommend checking Monstera and different plants for any kind of sport variegation. Um, these uh, big box shops have so many, so much quantity of these plants that sometimes an uncommon one will slip in. So it's always fun to treasure hunt in that way. Look how pretty this Monstera is. I love how that has the equal kind of symmetrical fenestra fenestrations on both sides. Oh my gosh, is this a confetti syngonium? This is a, oh, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm trying not to flip out. I came over here because I saw these cool little um, planters, how they're in water, growing in water. And I saw the light colored syngonium thinking it was a white butter. And then look, it's a confetti. It has pink on it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! Oh, okay, it looks like it's the only one. And look at this planter it comes in. Oh, how much are you? Oh, it says it on the bottom, Syngonium Confetti. Get out. How, what are, okay, whew, whew. Sorry guys, I get excited and I'm trying not to make a scene in this shop. Syngonium Snow... They also have Syngonium Snow White. Oh, I hope they give these babies some water. Ooh, that's amazing. Okay, how much are you? I don't know how much it is. I, <laughs> spoiler alert, I do my haul at the end, but I'm definitely getting this, so uh, I'll let you know how much it is at the end oh my gosh look at those roots they look great i'm so excited i was on my way out to check out and i saw these plants over here and i'm gonna be that creepy stalker plant person <laughs> that investigates the plants that they're getting ready to put out bromeliads anthurium ponytail palm aglionema um uh, oh my gosh, gardenia. My grandmother's favorite and one of my favorites. Okay, calla lilies, springtime coming. I just spotted this really cute uh, ficus 
with some variegation and it is Anastasia. I saw one called El Dorado at the Tropical Plant Expo and it was incredible. It was this type of um, ficus benjamina but it had beautiful variegation. So I'm curious to see when that will come on the market but this one is really lovely as well. Isn't that great? It's $29.98. And I love the lime green on the outsides of the leaves and it's speckled throughout the leaf. It's not just on the outside of it. I've popped over to the Lowe's as I cross from the Home Depot just to see um, if they've received a new shipment and what plants they have in stock. And it looks like they have some of these urban jungle plants really beautiful there's a rubber plant and a fern and a pothos here peperomia and a variegated chiflera snake plant lots of beautiful air plants oh these are really neat <laughs> these planters are beautiful and they have birkins inside and neon pothos, peperomia. Okay, lots of options, really lovely plants. Over here we have an interesting alocasia. It doesn't say what kind, it just says alocasia sp, which means it's, they weren't certain exactly what variety it is perhaps, but it's really lovely. And the stem has this like little zebra type of print to it. The leaves are dark, so it's a darker foliage alocasia. Has a nice definition and nice long leaves, really beautiful. Look at this cute little samurai. This was one of the first snake plants that I got. It's very slow growing, but it needs nothing. It thrives on neglect, which is the beauty of the snake plant. Peperomias and some money trees down here. There are some Syngonium, some really beautiful pink ones, perhaps Neon Robustas, and Bromeliads. Keeping an eye out to see if they have any of those confetti here. Uh, I'm always looking out for all of you guys to see what, what they have. Looks like some pink ones and green ones, Sago Palms here. Lots of beautiful, interesting varieties. Some more Birkins and Peperomia, Golden Pothos. They have some of these really beautiful Aglionemas that have the whites on the outsides of the leaves with the gorgeous white stems. Very interesting. Some Diffenbachia and Monstera Deliciosas. Let's take a look at what trending tropicals they have. They have this really beautiful Tradescantia that has these incredibly fuzzy leaves. Everyone loves these. Maybe um, like a teddy bear, teddy bear, teddy bear Tradescantia. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what variety, but that's a fun one. They do have a lot of really lovely begonias here. And I saw some begonia maculatus uh, around as well. It looks like they have not had a shipment in a while, which means that they should be getting one soon. So I might check back in a week or two to see what they have in. Here's some of these really, really cool aglionemas. Um, they have very long skinny leaves. Costa Farms showed them to me when I was at their headquarters in Miami. Um, they showed me like these huge fields and greenhouses full of all the different plant varieties and this was one of them and it was so interesting to learn about it. Uh, I love these white stems, so gorgeous. Snake plants, this is an interesting aglionema. Look at these leaves, oh my goodness so silvery. I just pulled out another Aglionema, so I see this one all the time over here on the right, but I don't see ones like this very often.
checking over in this area to see if they have any interesting stuff. I just wanted to take a look at this really cute succulent. It's so cute and I actually love this pot. Isn't that adorable? What kind is this, I wonder? It's like a chalk white succulent. It's so pretty. And I love the little leaves. <laughs> How much are you? Nine dollars. Gorgeous. Philodendrons, Dracaena, ZZs, some more alocasia, snake plants, crotons, golden pothos, some aloe over there. Take a little peek down here. Oh, I see some desert rose, which you don't see very often. That's these guys. They have such beautiful blooms, all different colors. Um, it's a, it's an easy care plant, I believe. Lovely. These guys are looking a little wind windswept <laughs> with their hair. <laughs> Anthurium. Diffenbachias. Here are some of these massive Monstera Deliciosa that I've been seeing at the big box shops. They're $44. They come with trellis and they're absolutely beautiful. All right, I'm at my first Goodwill. I'm gonna see what I can find. Look at these cute chairs. I like those. All right, I love to check the furniture section, see if I can find any wicker baskets. Um, anything like that for plants is great. I don't see much in the way of plant stuff in the furniture, so I'm gonna go over there and check out what there are in wares. Always nice and fun to take a look in the glassware section, see if I can find anything for propagations. As I've been growing a lot of plants in water lately. Or sometimes you can find a big candle holder that could be a nice cover pot like this, $2.99. I always like to find the crazy stuff when I go thrifting, so <laughs> I can may have a big pumpkin planter. That's cute, $4.99. Punch bowl. Oh, look at that purpley glass plate. Really cool. That green one's interesting. $3.99, could be a little cover pot. This is kind of hanging out over here in the $1.99. Again, I could find something like that at Ikea. Or... Again, this is a great spot to find little glassware for propagations. These cute little glasses. It's a, it's a Noah's Ark teapot. I could put a plant in there. Always a good idea to check out the baskets when thrifting. Baskets are a great option for plants for cover, you know, kind of like a cover pot. It's a less expensive option than some of these expensive planters. They look very nice. A lot of pumpkin stuff, as you can see. $1.99. I also like finding pottery that's signed on the bottom. You can find some really 
interesting stuff. I found uh, planters done by local artists and stuff, which is nice. Look at this little cute little box. $2.99. Could put a plant in there. Flawless. <laughs> For a diva plant. Cute. This would be perfect to hang on a wall and put your plant in there. Doesn't have a price on it. It's so cute though, really boho. Oh, what is this? Look at this little cactus. Well, you know I have to get this. Adorable. <laughs> I just spotted this one. You know, this would be a great basket for a really big plant. All right, I am at my next Goodwill. Hopefully they have more planters and that kind of thing here. The last one was pretty sparse. This little shelf is cute, it's $19.99 and it would make a great plant shelf. There's a little black planter back here. It's $1.99. Cute little kettle. Sometimes I'll use these as planters. Little cover pots. There's a bright pink one. A neon pink one that's been spray painted. Look at this ashtray. Baskets up here. Heart, look how cute. This little one that says Jelly Belly is cute. You could name the plant Jelly Belly. <gasps> look how pretty these. Um, candlesticks are. Wow, they're so pretty. There's two of them, but they don't exactly match, but that's kind of nice. This is adorable. You could hang a little plant in there. Always a good find. Find a little basket, and this one even has plastic on the inside. Just a great little cover pot. off of plants but those are so nice oh my gosh this is so funny it's a cactus $3.99 from Target <laughs> it's funny. the haul portion of the video. I'm excited to share what I found. I think you guys could probably guess the plant that I picked up today. It was such a shocker, this beautiful confetti syngonium. I mean, what a surprise. It was $20 and I love that it's in water. I've actually been um, 
putting a lot more of my plants in water. It just is so much, uh, such an easy way to grow plants. And it's always fun to experiment. Do you know, at first I thought this was basil by this, the way the top looks, but I cannot wait for these big leaves on top to unravel. Now, syngoniums are amazing. They're incredibly easy care, whether they're in soil, water, what have you. Just really great growers low low maintenance absolutely beautiful this one it is called a confetti syngonium for obvious reasons as you can see look at the pink on those green leaves i'm obsessed with this plant and i have seen this plant a couple of times but it's been when i've been traveling and i it's i haven't been able to bring it back with me so to be able to the best this is clearly the best deal i find it's a huge syngonium and it has a planter all for twenty dollars right down the street i mean ah i am in heaven the thrift haul today is minimal there wasn't much going on with thrifting i have to say normally i find like 20 different planters but maybe people are picking them up more um because it's coming into spring and because i make these videos about all the amazing planters i find thrifting so this is one of the ones i picked up baskets are just 10 out of 10 win when you go to goodwill and i like this one because it even has the plastic inside which is really great i mean these are just so nice to have around and to not have to spend a bunch of money on a planter and the baskets just look so nice and modern i'm all for it and of course i had to also pick up this cute little cactus how adorable is this one it would be great for propagations or anything like that it does have the option for me to put some plants in there um, I probably put some water in here and then grow it with propagation or something or have it as a decoration either way I just thought this was the cutest thing 99 cents can't go wrong she gave the basket to me for a dollar because it didn't have a price on there so those are the two things I thrifted um, like I said I I tend to stay away from just like basic 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 planters because i can usually just find those um, at ikea or something like that thank you so much for tagging along with me while i did some shopping i hope it was relaxing and you guys enjoyed make sure to subscribe if you'd like to see future episodes show up in your news feed and like i said we have a great plant community on instagram that we would love for you to be part of and lastly huge thank you to nature id for um, partnering with me for this episode i just think they're the coolest app ever just being able to um, point your camera at a plant and for it to be able to tell you exactly what kind of plant it is Awesome. All right guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. You'll definitely be seeing me soon. Bye